Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss how to do normality assessment of the model in SPSS MS. In structure equation modeling, normality testing refers to the evaluation of the assumptions of multivariate normality for the observed variables used in the analysis. Multivariate normality assumes that the dot data follow multivariate normal distribution where each variable has a normal distribution and the joint distribution of all the variables is also normal. Assessing normality in SCM is important because violation of normality assumption can affect the accuracy of parameter estimates, standard errors, and hypothesis testing results. If the data deviates significantly from normality, it may indicate issues with the model or suggest the need for alternative modeling techniques. Characteristics of multivariate normality First one, marginal normality. Each individual variable in the multivariate normal distribution follow univariate normal distribution. This means that when examining each variable in isolation, it could display a symmetric bell-shaped distribution. Joint normality. The joint distribution of all the variables in the multivariate distribution is also normal. This implies that the relationship between any subset of the variables can be adequately described a multivariate normal distribution. Linear combinations. Linear combinations of the variables such as weighted sums or differences also follow normal distribution. This property is essential in structural equation modeling as it allows for the estimation of path coefficients and the evaluation of relationships between the latent variables. Covariance structures. Multivariate normality assumes that the covariance matrix of the variables is positive definite. This implies that the variables are correlated and the nature and strength of this Correlations can be described by the covariance matrix. Lack of outliers. Multivariate normality assumes that the absence of outliers. Outliers can have a significant impact on the estimations of model parameters and can distort the interpretation of relationship between the variables. Prerequisite. Normality assessment is done after establishing measurement model and before writing the structural model. Skewness. In structural equation modeling using the maximum likelihood estimation, the thresholds for assessing the skewness and kurtosis can vary depending on the specific approach in software use. Skewness measures the departure from symmetry in the distribution. In robust SAM, a skewness value between minus 2 and plus 2 is often considered acceptable, indicating a reasonably symmetrical distribution. Some researchers might adopt more lenient threshold of minus 3 to plus 3. It's important to note that the robust SAM methods are designed to handle departures from normality and therefore slightly higher skewness values may be tolerable. For sample size greater than 200 in MLE estimation, some researchers suggest value in the range of plus 3 to minus 3 and the critical value for the absolute skewness should not exceed 8. Kurtosis. Kurtosis measures the tail heaviness or the degree of pickedness of a distribution. In robust SAM, a kurtosis value between minus 10 and plus 10 is typical, typically considered acceptable. This value indicates a moderate level of kurtosis with the values closer to zero, suggesting the normality. However, as with skewness, robust SAM methods are more robust to departures from not normality, so slightly higher kurtosis values may be permissible. Mahalabides distance. It is a measure of the distance between an observation and the centroid of a group taking into account the covariance structure of the variables. A larger Mohalabidis distance indicates that the observation is farther away from the centroid of the groups. Those observations which are having large Mohalabidis distance are the outliers. Removing these outliers can help us to achieve multivariate normality. Now, let's go into the SPSS MS. So this is our model. We want to assess multivariate normality for this model. So we will click here. Make sure you activate test for normality and outliers. Now run the model. View text. Go in the assessment of normality. You are having skewness. You are having kurtosis. Moreover, you are also having the critical ratios. 
skewness, this one, this skewness should be in the range of minus 3 to plus 3. Critical ratios should be less than 3. This critical ratios. Kurtosis should be in the range of minus 10 to plus 10. So you can see our kurtosis figures are reasonably below. Uh, they are in the range of minus 10 to plus 10. Moreover, skewness is also between minus 3 to plus 3. Critical ratios. This should be less than 3. But for this one, it's more than 8. Now click on observations from the observations farthest from the centroid. These are the observations number and this is P1 and P2. Let's try to understand what is this P1 and P2. The provided table displays observation with the respective Mahalobinus distance squared values d squared and the associated p values for group number one. The p value corresponds to the probability of having of an observation being an outlier when compared to a chi square distribution with the degree of freedom equal to the number of variables in the analysis. This probability assesses the overall outlierness of an observation. The P2 value represents the probability of an observation being an outlier when compared to the chi square distributions with the degree of freedom equal to the number of variables minus 1. This probability focuses on the leverage or influence an observation has on the regression coefficients. In short, we have to remember one thing. The observations which are having P1 and P2 value less than 0.001, I repeat again, the bottom line is the observations having a P1 and P2 value less than 0.001 are outliers. Let's go in the output. For the observation number 1, we are having this, both these values less than 0.01 and this is an outlier. So, 114 is an outlier. Similarly, is the case with 153, 62, 120, 21, 165, 107, 142, 124, we will stop here. Why? Because now this value is not less than 0 0.001 then therefore we will stop here. So this value is not less than 0 0.001 and there, therefore this is not an outlier. So these are the number, observations number and all this P1 and P2 value till here is less than 0 0.001 and therefore these are outliers. Removing this observation, observation may give you the multivariate normality. So this is the way you can assess the multivariate normality in SPSS MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the like button.